Don't forget to subscribe and press the notification icon. Hello guys, this is Sekhna Genwin. Today I'm going to show you how to bypass or remove Google account FRP on any Samsung device using your Mac. So first off, what you need to have is a Windows ISO. So either you need to have a disk Windows installation disk or you can download it on the description below. This is a genuine copy of Windows 7 64-bit so you can enjoy using it with full activation. So first off, what you have to do is once you have downloaded your ISO, what you have to do is to go on the description and download Desktop Parallels. And then you're going to follow the video which is going to come out now. So first off, you have to download this file. The link is going to be in the description below. Once you have downloaded the file, what you got to do is, is to double click the downloaded file. And then what you got to do is is to double click install and now what you have to do is, is to input your password and wait for a couple of seconds program press no once you open desktop parallel you should see this wizard so now what you have to do is, is to press on install windows or other OSS OS from a DVD or image file. So if you're using DVD then press this. If you're using image file ISO or USB then press the one that you're using. So I'm using ISO. So if you're using ISO then simply drag Windows over here. Now wait for a couple of seconds. Then press continue. Now what you have to do is, is to simply uncheck this box then press continue then here what you have to do is if you are using this for gaming or for software or such then choose this so I'm just gonna use it for software purpose so once that is done press next and do whatever you want then press next again and wait for a couple of seconds Now what you have to do is, once you reach this window, you have to pick Windows 7 Ultimate. Press next and wait for a couple of seconds, depending on your Mac's hard drive. Now click to continue, <clears throat> then right click, go to screen resolution then change your resolution that corresponds to your max display. Now you have successfully installed Desktop Parallels Windows 7 on your MacBook. So now you can watch any videos that says that you need a Windows to bypass or remove Google accounts on. Hey guys, this is Techno Genuine, and today's tutorial is to show you how to fix the this problem right here. Let me just uh, <clears throat> zoom in here. So this is my phone, a six edge, and as you can see here, like I'm facing this problem, uh, the boot looping. In other words, the phone reboots itself uh, constantly, and it shows this message, and it's it says that recovery is not C Android enforcing, and sometimes it shows. Uh, kernel is not C Android enforcing and I've tried several routes uh, kernels I even tried with uh, Turip but none of it uh, solved the problem however I found a solution so I'll be showing it to you guys right now are you trying to get your model number but you don't know because you cannot remove the battery for example well no worries you can either find it from your box as shown on this picture which is gonna come out now or you can check it on your bill or you can go to the market where you have bought your phone and ask them or you can simply use those uh, demo units there and check the model number once you know your model number what you have to do is to go to this website the link is gonna be on the description then on Android tab 
press sock ROM. Scroll down until you see search bar. And put your model number. Press enter. And then click on the device which is as same as yours. So mine is SX Edge. So I press this one. Then scroll down. Now you can download any sock ROM for your device. But make sure that there is no brackets brackets on it because these are the ones that are locked and you cannot use that. So first off you can download any sock ROM of any region except those brackets. So if if you want to download a sock ROM of the region where you bought your phone from then no problem you can go ahead and do so. But if you cannot find the region from the place where you bought your phone from then you gotta download it from sammobile.com so I'm gonna hold down control and F and I'm gonna input my model number oh I mean my region so United Arab Emirates now I'm simply gonna click on download hyperlink and as you can see the download speed is a lot faster than on the sammobile.com. If you don't want to spend some time on signing up an account on sammobile.com, then no worries. You can just go to mrcrab.net. The link is going to be on the description. And then what you have to do is, is you go to the search bar, input your model number, press search, and then click on the first hyperlink. then you should see all the sock ROM for your device. You can find your sock ROM for the region where you bought your phone from. So I'm going to press quickly on the control F and I'm going to input Emirates because that's where I bought the phone from. I'm going to simply press on that box and it's going to give me two download links to download the sock ROM. So as you can see, I didn't have to create or sign in to the sammobile.com. It directly, it directly sends me to Rapid Gear and download the file. Now you should have your stock ROM. After that, you have to download Unin3, the latest version. The link is going to be on the description just in case. Connect your phone to your computer using a USB cable. Then on your phone, turn it into download mode. Shut down your device. Remove the USB cable. Now what you have to do is, is to hold down volume down button, home button, power button simul simultaneously until you see this blue screen. Then what you have to do is, is simply press the volume up button. Then that's how you enter the download mode. <coughs> now go to your computer and you should have the sock ROM and the Odin. Open the Odin and launch the app. <clears throat> now here, this box here or here, I think it's here. The box should be highlighted in blue. After that, uh, click on AP and then uh, click on the sock ROM. I already did this, uh, what do you call? already uh, flashed my phone so I don't have to do it again after anyways after that you click on start and you have to wait for three to five minutes depending on your phone's uh, type or what uh, yeah whatever and then you should be able to see your phone booting up properly and and that your data is not deleted Thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and like if you want to see more useful videos.